Hello everyone, I have exciting and terrifying news. I have decided that I will try to build a third marble machine. In this video, I will share with you my plan for how to finish this crazy project and also how you can help, especially if you're an engineer. Let's take a look at the plan to finish the marble machine. We're going to talk about where we are today, the next steps, how I'm going to use standard parts, how engineers can help me finish the machine, how suppliers can help, the schedule for the entire project, and then we're gonna end with a slight little celebration. So where we are today? Well, I've actually finished step one and step two of this pyramid. So we're going to start to work on step three and step four simultaneously. So that will be the next steps. The entire marble machine is too big of a thing to attack all at once. So we're gonna break it down in small manageable steps. The first section I want to build is the drive section. And the first module in the drive section I want to build is the Hügen drive module. And the first parts of the Hügen drive I wanna design is the chain. Immediately we come to a very important decision. Should I use custom or standard parts? So chains and sprockets are a solved problem. It's not unique to the marble machine. Smart engineers have already solved this problem. Therefore I'm going to use, wait for it, drum roll, custom parts only. With custom parts we have full control and we can make the project exactly the way we want it to. I'm just joking, calm down, we're gonna use standard parts. <laughs> yay, yay! This is of course what you all have taught me. We're of course going to use standard parts to succeed with this project. So for example, if you wanna build this Hygen drive, step one is you find standard parts with CAD models. Step two is to complete the CAD design with the standard parts. Step three, send out the first version for feedback. Step four, iterate with this feedback and create version two. Then we're gonna repeat step three and four until we have a final version. So when the CAD is completed, we're gonna order all the parts and then we're going to assembly. On my previous machines, I just started with design and then I couldn't really find standard parts for my design. And in this project, we're gonna take it the other way around. We're gonna start with finding the standard parts and design from them. From today, I'm opening up the project for engineers to help. Because as Rudy told me, apes together strong. <laughs> Before I knew what I wanted to build, I felt it was important that I did the process by myself. Now I'm very sure about what I want to build. Now it's more of a question, how? And then I can actually use help. <laughs> I wanna move faster and I wanna finish this thing and we can do it, but I will need some help to go fast. So if you are an engineer or someone with a lot of valuable experience working with mechanical systems, you can check the pinned comment and the description where I have published 10 help requests. And if you click them, the process should be self-explanatory after that. You can also find all the help requests on the Marble Machine Engineering server on Discord. This is the brand new Marble Machine Engineering Discord server. And it's a very clean server with very few pages. So we have the welcome page, we have the help request page, and then we have some resources with some file downloads. So if we take a look at the help requests, this is where everything begins. And I will make a lot of help requests. I realized that when I'm asking for help, I need to be very specific. So each and every help request is going to a Google form. And from here, everything is self-explanatory. The Google forms are really short and sweet. At the end of the forms, if you want to, you can ask to be invited to the Discord channel related to this help request. When you get invited, you can start interacting in these private channels. So we have one channel per help request. So each week I will introduce the new help requests. So now I wanna show you all the 10 help requests that I have for this week. So we have seen the finding gear suppliers already. Let's check the choosing gear types. Here's a very simple question that I've been struggling with. Should I use straight cut spur gears, helical gears, double helical gears, or herringbone gears, or other? And this is of course depending on the application, but I wanna have a discussion with experienced mechanical engineers about this decision to help me make this decision. 
Help request three is finding coupling suppliers. So here again, we're going to use standard parts. Shaft couplings is a solved problem. And as you can see here, the shaft couplings will be used to put modules together like this. Here's a really interesting one, aligning modules. So I made a big write up on this request. So in this request, I'm introducing the problem that we have to solve with all my thoughts and I'm establishing exactly what is the problem I want to solve. And this is about how we can align the modules perfectly each time after disassembly, because you know we have to disassemble the machine between each concert. So this is my idea. We make these alignment plates, one precision hole and one precision pin. We temporary tack weld them. We weld them solid on one of the modules. We align the shafts using alignment tech. SKF has actually really cool, cheap alignment tech for shafts like this. When it's aligned, we kind of tack weld the modules together, checking the alignment still. And then we weld it solid and we remove all the tack welds. And now we can separate the two modules and we can assemble them. And thanks to these alignment plates, we always have the perfect alignment. So this is just my home cooked solution from what I've learned during the years. And then I want your feedback on this idea. So the information in the Google Forms are very low resolution and we are going to clarify and get more high resolution in each chat room solving each problem. Help request six, finding flywheel suppliers. As you kept telling me, we should of course use a flywheel supplier. So I'm looking for help to find good ones. It's not like that I don't know how to Google. What I'm hoping for is that the people in my audience have knowledge in this area and know good suppliers, hopefully near Germany, that we can work easily with. And those are the suppliers I wanna learn about through the feedback in this form. Okay, so now we're getting to some really fun stuff because these are the next steps, the Hegen Drive chain design. So this is a question that I've been battling with that I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts about. Should I use a single chain configuration like on the left or a dual chain configuration like on the right? So then I'm asking for your opinions here. What design do you think is best and why? And again, this is low resolution, but we can go more high resolution inside the Discord channel discussing this. Here's another really fun one, shaft dimensioning. I need to decide really quickly how thick the shaft should be. And this is like a common skill. So these are kind of a table for how to dimensioning a shaft. I kind of understand it, but kind of not. So what I'm looking for is experienced engineers who can hold my hand and teach me how to do this. Let's look at the last help request, which is the physics calculations. So I've already received wonderful help with this from Rudy, but basically I want to build a team that can help me finalize and check my physics calculations. Because when we're going to use standard parts, we have to be sure that our torque numbers and our watt power numbers and our RPMs are correct because then we can actually see what the standard parts are listed for and we can feel good about our part choices. These are the active requests for now. And I have kind of this vision of imagine we have like 35 teams working in parallel, solving 35 problems simultaneously. Uh, we should be able to accelerate this stupid project and finish it. <laughs> so this server is not a social server. We have a wonderful Wintgatan community server. So if you want to socialize and hang out, please use the wonderful Wintgatan community server. But the Marble Machine Engineering server is going to be hyper-focused on solving specific tasks. And so how can we make this system as efficient as possible? Well, I'm looking for quality of feedback, not quantity of feedback. So. I'm really encouraging everyone who have the experience with mechanical system to help me out. But if you feel you want to help me out, but you don't have real experience in this system, there might be other ways later that you can help me out. I'm gonna ask for help with prototyping and I'm gonna ask for help with other stuff. So there will be a help request that will fit you in the future. And for the Discord channels, we're only looking for a handful of people max per channel. So we're not going to do this big 50 people chat where everyone has different opinions. I think it's more efficient if I work with a couple of uh, constructive engineers in each subject. I think that will improve the efficiency of this a lot. And next week I will publish more help requests and follow up what we have done on the ones from today. 
Let's check how suppliers can help. So I'm opening up the Marmachine project for collaboration with suppliers. So fill in the supplier's help request and tell us that you're associated with suppliers. We will contact you to discuss partnerships. So if you are a supplier that wants to put your beautiful products in one of the world's most famous machines, we're offering you that opportunity, okay? So no, I think those kinds of sponsorships I'm really interested in. If you are a supplier, uh, please reach out. We're very happy to collaborate. I'm going to shock you now because you know what I've done? I've planned a schedule. <laughs> we have to take in the dimension of time to actually finish this project. Actually, let me show you why. In this pyramid, step three here can expand forever. I can spend my rest of my life on step three and just making more and more features of the machine. I don't want to do that. I want to finish this project. That's kind of my focus now. Let's finish this. So by imposing a time schedule, I will have to shrink the feature list to whatever fits with our time schedule. That's how almost all projects are. And that's why my project haven't been completed yet. And I absolutely hate this. <laughs> okay. So this is not in my nature, but anyway, this is the time schedule for the Marble Machine project. We start with completing the drive section in August, 2024. Next milestone is December, 2024 where the whole drummer section is going to be completed. So here's a section by itself, and here's the section next to the Higgin drive. Next milestone will be the bass and the vibraphone, and this will be August 2025. So in August 2025, one and a half year from today, I'm expecting to have the full machine assembled. And then we're gonna make the first music spring 2026. So yeah. This is scary, but I think it's a good kind of timeline. Two years more, us together. I, th I, th I really think we can do it. It's time for some celebration because it's actually my birthday today. <laughs> so I'm celebrating by making this YouTube video and starting this project. And I want to show you what I got this morning in birthday gift from my girlfriend. Formler och tabeller för mekanisk konstruktion. I think you can understand it, though it's, it's in Swedish. So this is a Bible. All the formulas for basic engineering. So I mean, best birthday gift ever. <laughs> I mean, look how beautiful that is. So here we have the formulas for all the geometrical objects, the physics behind pulleys, moment of inertia for different shapes, and on it goes. Isn't that great? I think this is a beautiful symbol of my realization that most of the problems that the Marble Machine poses are completely not unique and have been solved by smart engineers. And yeah, I just uh, want to say thanks to everyone who are going to help me finish this machine. There are several risks to this project. I might fail again. Uh, but the biggest failure would be to not try at all, I feel. So here we are. Let's effing go. Ciao.